Right, so this is the planet finder. If you want to know um, where, the, where to find any of the planets up in the sky, this is the kind of thing you're going to need. Unlike the astrolabes, uh, which I make, which just run year after year, you know, permanently, that for at least the next few hundred years they're going to be accurate. They're going to tell you the position of uh, the names of all the stars. Um, the planets, they move about a little bit more, wandering across the sky, really. And so you need a yearly, yearly calendar. And, and pretty much this is a yearly calendar of the positions of the five major stars. It's very bright, the uh, five major stars, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. Um, and what you find when you have this is that it will tell you uh, their positions and where to find them in the sky. Um, as well as other info, it's got on here, you have uh, when there's going to be a meteor shower during the year, you've got the phases of the moon. Uh, this particular one's um, got biodynamic information on it as well, it tells you the constellation the moon's into, but most planet finders uh, don't have that. And so how you use it is you dial up the date. Now today is the 7th of April, so you've got the months running around here, February, March, there's April. As we're getting it towards the 7th, I can see that yesterday was uh, the third quarter moon. So we're just coming past the, uh, the half moon there. And it's telling me, I don't know how visible it is for you, but it's telling me that Mercury's in the constellation Aries. Venus also is in Aries, Mars in Cancer, Jupiter, um, what's it say there? Um, Aquarius and Saturn in Virgo. It's browned out, so that means that Saturn's running retrograde, which means it appears to have uh, stopped going its normal motion and start wandering backwards and go again. Now to physically find where these are in the sky you then have to turn the planet finder over. So, so which one are we going to choose? Let's have a look for, um, let's have a look for Saturn. So uh, we flip it over and on the back is uh, some months running around the edge here, August, September, October. We've got to try and put them in this little window for where we are and we're in April, beginning of April, and as that's moved us around, it's like a very simple planisphere, it's blocked off. This is a bit you can always be used year after year, so they're, they're useful tools uh, to keep hold of, and it's blocked off the stars that aren't visible around, uh, around April, and then we'll tell you where you might get a chance to see Virgo, and it's saying, oh, you know, it's, it's about there, it's going to be high up in the sky, um, maybe slightly westward that be and um, yeah that's definitely going to be visible say another one say Mercury um, in Aries where would you find that see it's covered over so it's, it's saying westward you might be able to see it in the west it's probably um, it's probably not going to be visible today so yeah that's your planet finder um, I hope you found it useful